Showing its commitment to being a community for all, the City Council recently approved an affordable housing policy that will apply to all new multifamily developments of 20 or more units that require a certain rezoning or amendment to the comprehensive plan. Affordable housing is necessary to maintain a diverse population and provide housing for those who work in a community. Since the land available to develop additional housing is limited in Edina, the Council believes it is essential that a reasonable portion be developed into affordable units. Affordable housing is not subsidized housing. Housing is deemed affordable if it can be paid for by a person whose income is 60% or less of the area median gross income. Uh, the foundation believes, I believe, that this is a uh, really important policy for the city and that it's going to you know, encourage um, the uh, um, more diversity of, uh, of housing in our community and we're really we're thrilled about that. At the time a residential development is proposed and requires rezoning to planned unit development or an amendment to the comprehensive plan, the city will consider such things as density bonuses, parking reductions, tax increment financing, and deferred low interest loans from the Dinah Housing Foundation to obtain affordable housing. They're looking to get a change in our zoning or comprehensive plan. We're looking to get affordable housing in exchange for that. So that's where the give to get comes in. They're getting the potential for more density, more height, whatever it is they're asking for, or a rezoning. And the city has a chance to get affordable housing. In some cases, providing affordable units might not be economically feasible or practical. In those cases, the city would require a developer to build them elsewhere in the community or negotiate an alternative.